Hi, I'm Tim Washer. We're here at the IoT World Forum, speaking with George Kopitz, the co-founder and member of the executive board of TT Tech. George, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Tim. So tell us a little bit about the autonomous car and how that, how the IoT plays a role in making that infrastructure happen. Yeah, uh, there has a lot of um, public um, hype and recognition about the autonomous cars coming to reality, coming into public use, and TT Tech is one of those companies pioneering the autonomous driving together with Audi. We developed a platform to host all the different applications that you need to make a car run autonomously, be it in piloted parking or piloted driving. And our contribution is that we also deploy IoT technologies in this autonomous platform. We use a deterministic Ethernet switch, a gigabit switch, a switch in the platform that interlinks all the different applications that you can safely and securely, securely combine all those applications in one platform. And it's very interesting that uh, the autonomous cars, which has so much uh, public attention and the Internet of Things, they come together in a way by deploying Ethernet as the basic platform for high-speed connectivity inside the car. And tell us a little bit about TT Tech's expertise in Internet of Things. Uh, when we talk about Internet of Things, we like to talk about the real-time Internet of Things because we are focusing on the critical systems like cars, planes, wind power plants, agricultural machines, so things that really move, things that really machines that really um, are active in the physical world. And inside those machines today you have networks, a lot of proprietary networks. And now Ethernet and Ethernet and Internet protocol is coming into those machines and you need to provide guarantee of service. Uptime, availability, robustness is of critical importance in those machines and TA Tech provides with the deterministic Ethernet a technology that is using time trigger technology, it's also a company name, TT Tech stands for time trigger technology, to make the Ethernet very robust, very reliable, and very time critical. And therefore, we enable the IoT infrastructure to be used inside the machines. And we also work with Cisco, uh, one of our most important global partners, to bring the technology also inside the industrial internet um, equipment and infrastructure to be able to run applications also outside of the machine. Uh, on the edge of the network, we call it fog computing, or even on remote data centers in the cloud. And therefore you have the same basic infrastructure in the real-time Internet of Things, both inside the machine, but also outside of the machines. And this is what TA Tech is trying to establish and enable. So we're, do you have these cars running today? Are they up and running? In yeah, they're running today on test tracks. We have showed them at CES uh, earlier this year in Las Vegas. Um, we also will basically continuously uh, progress the technology and uh, we are hoping we will see them soon also in the dealers um, um, in premium cars. Uh, first, we will start with very low speeds, like on traffic jams or in parking situations, uh, but later on we will also go to higher speeds and uh, I think it will enable a new driver experience because you can drive when you want to have fun, but if you want to work, if you want to be online, if you want to do your emails, if you want to do some, get some work stuff in, uh, in high traffic situations, uh, then you can let the car do the driving and you do the real work. So it took me two hours to get from O'Hare to downtown Chicago today. And it, it, how would this system benefit me yeah. in, in that? And, and can, I, can I catch a ride back in your car back yeah. to the airport? So I think uh, two questions, uh, one answer. So in smart cities that we will see in the future, also a topic of this IoT theme here, uh, traffic flows are very important. You have traffic lights, you have cars. Uh, first of all, what you will soon see in cars, even before autonomous driving will start, you will have a traffic light assistance that the car will tell you how fast you have to go to meet the green wave of basically the traffic lights to really have uh, a fast speed through, like in the, in the movies uh, we've seen in the past. Uh, but also you will see in the future that the, tra the cars are much more aligned to each other, that they talk to each other, so cars talk to cars, and they will know kind of the, the speed of the car in front of you and they can much better assess the flow of the traffic and you know how traffic jams happen. Yes. Somebody breaks uh, 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 the brake pedal and then basically the whole uh, traffic jam starts to happen and if you have a much better uh, flow, you can have a much better drive from O'Hare to your hotel. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just it, 
And uh, in just a few seconds, can you tell me what your vision is for the future TT Tech for IoT? Yeah, the future is that we will see much more remote operations and servicing uh, happening and that you will be, um, as an industrial customer, very much looking for infrastructures that you can um, leverage inside your machine but also outside the machines and to have a scalable architecture which provides guarantee of service not only for your machine but also for your data center or for your local edge computer that talks to the machine will give you a lot of advantages in terms of uptime, scheduled maintenance and uh, better serviceability and I think that's the way the future will uh, lead us and uh, I think TA Tech um, will play a role in this transition. George, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much. And Tim. thank you for tuning in. Thank you.